Happy Thursday. He's going into the doctor's office today to get his staples removed. And me being a nurse, I think I told him I've taken out thousands of staples, but he won't let me do it. Well, she wanted to use some rusty pliers in the garage and I was like, <laughs> I just don't have the same sanitary, sterile confidence in those pliers as I do coming here to the doctor, so. I love well, DIY, but not on my staples. <laughs> I've had a kid's desk in my garage for I don't know how long that needed repaired, needed painted, etc cetera, etc cetera. so this is my diy project for girls diy fun here is this sad little desk that i i took apart and um paint or excuse me glued some of the joints i also glued this that was um coming apart so i need to put a back on it i need to paint it i need to remove this and sand it and then I'm going to use an antiquing glaze on it. I hate removing this applique, but it's broken right here. So what I'm going to do is take a putty knife and gently um, loosen it up, remove it. And then I might add one, um, I might add another applique just because I think it needs a little bit of character. So this is what it looks like removed. So I am going to sand that down to make sure when I paint it, there is no, um, there aren't any edges that you can see through. So my little desk needs a back. I have an old piece of um, plywood that I've had forever. So I'm going to cut that to size and then paint it and then put it on the back. So the desk got two coats of white paint, which it looks way better. I also spray painted this a, um, I think it's a, it's a bronze, brushed bronze. And then I also did those. So my next step is to add the back um, out of a piece of plywood that I had. And then I'm going to use the new antiquing glaze. So this is the antiquing glaze that I've never used before. I really like it. And the difference is uh, between this and then the wax that I was using was this you can use on um, acrylic paint. The wax I always used over um, chalk paint. So very easy to use. You have to let the paint dry and then brush this over and wipe it off. I'm adding these embellishments. Before I permanently put them on, I am um, holding them up with masking tape, measuring from the top to the, to the side. I'm also taking a level um, and going across the bottom and across the top of each embellishment. That way they're, they will be perfect before I even attach them. So we are home. Way I wanted to hop on here and um, tell you that I'm going to be sharing the other DIY projects for the for the hashtag Girls DIY Fun. I love DIY projects. I love them. I, I think they're awesome, and I'm so happy when I get to work with other accounts that do such awesome things and gives me inspiration. So I hope you enjoy them as much as I do.
We just watched a movie on Prime Video called Z. That would be it. <laughs> that would be it because you have nothing to say or... That would be it because just as the letter Z is at the end of the alphabet, this would probably be the last movie I would watch again.